Kia ora guys, gals and legionnaires, Rykon here and welcome to the town hall. There we go, god damn it. You think you're ready, you think you're set and you leave your mic muted because you're a professional. That's how we do things here on Rykon Roleplays. Ah oh dear, welcome all to the town hall. Thank you for making it. We're, we're off to a good start. We always are. Only the best for all of you out there, the Legion. Thank you for attending. If you've never been to the town hall before, this is a chance for me to hang out with the rest of you, for us to have a chat, to touch base and just see where things are going forward for the month and the month that has been. It's just always a chance you might have missed out on some things along the way, but it's just, it's a time for us to hang out, for you to ask me things and, uh, and yeah, we'll see where we go from there. So first of all, I have a little bit of news, a little bit of news. So, uh, I did tease a little while ago that we we're going to have a Fallout 4 roleplay coming to the channel, finally. Finally, finally, and indeed it is. You're going to be getting the, it's, 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 I'm not going to say teaser, it's kind of a teaser, it's a teaser slash intro for that, and that's going to be coming out tomorrow. I say tomorrow, it's going to be tomorrow for me, for some of you it might be today, for some others it might be two days from now. Time is a weird and unusual thing, but it's going to be coming out very soon-ish, over the next few days, I can say that much. Um, it is interesting to record something like that in Fallout 4. It's very different from Skyrim and Fallout 3, just because even after all this time, some of the tools that are used to create machinimas and and when i say machinimas but like you know to create video content with them those tools really still aren't there for fallout 4 which is kind of weird it's kind of weird i'm having to do everything manually which you know that's fine i can do that it just takes a little bit longer unfortunately but it's going to be fun it's going to be fun i hope it isn't too bleak <laughs> I know we have a lot of bleakness to our role plays here, but then again, you know, a lot of the games that we do play are set in quite bleak places. So yeah, <laughs> what can I say? Um, the Mojave Express is nearly complete. I was editing that all of yesterday and that is going to be coming out later on today. So I'm going to need to spend like another maybe hour on editing that and that will be out to you all. So I'd say like maybe an hour or two after the town hall is finished, you could perhaps expect to see that. So if, if not, you're going to be getting that tomorrow as well. And if you've never seen the Mojave Express, it's a new thing where essentially all the fan art and things like that that happen on the channel, I feature them during that. So yeah, there we go. I'm going to have a sip of coffee because uh, it's still uh, Saturday morning here for me. So ah, there we go. That is good. That is good. Ah. Um, other news. Zealand. The season finale was just a few days ago, and what a season finale it was. I had an interesting time with that chapter, considering what was going on behind the scenes during all of it, and, uh, well, it was interesting, to say the least. Now, we are going to be on a little bit of a season break. Um, we don't have a set return time, but we are going through the process of skipping through a number of years at the moment. When we return in the next season, I've just noticed these guys are frozen in the background. They ain't doing nothing. I'm going to see what's going on there. But Gallag the Guard and our other friend over here, over, over here, he's frozen. Time stopped. I'm concerned. I'm concerned. <laughs> the guards are on break. Yeah, yeah. The rest are on break as well. Um, let's see. I'm going to go ahead and just see if I can restart that. Let's see. There we go. They're back on track. You'll hear some fire in the background now as well. <laughs> yeah, literal break. Definitely. They're on a literal break. Um, yeah, so Zealand is going to be on a little bit of a break. Um, next weekend. Next weekend. So it's going to be Friday evening for most people. It's going to be Saturday morning for us. We're going to be doing a live stream Q&A for Zealand. So the cast are going to be on there with me. We're going to be doing an, an online uh, kind of Google Hangout style thing where we're going to answer 
any questions and can't, I'm going to be asking them a lot of questions as well because obviously you know there are a lot of things that go unsaid in that game sometimes so it'll be nice to kind of cover what has happened and what's kind of going on so yeah yeah we'll avoid spoilers where we can in the chat I'll try not talk about them on here but um, yeah um well I, I can't say too much Evelyn but um it seemed it seemed like she was still there so yeah we'll see we'll see um yes i should download a tardis mod and play roleplay as the doctor stranded in skyrim in skyrim uh, that could be interesting <laughs> it'd, yeah it'd be a little less uh it'll be a little less bleak um trevor will i do a narration to cover well actually what i'm wanting to do for that is um <laughs> My idea for this is, I don't know if uh, those of you have seen The Walking Dead, um, when they first arrive at Alexandria, they kind of do like those video diary type things almost, where they're interviewed. We're going to be doing a similar kind of thing with that, where I'm going to be sitting down with each of the survivors, and they're essentially going to be telling their part of the story that has happened over those five years. So that's kind of how we'll return with that, so yeah. That's the plan, that's the plan. Um, Chazzyburger, Rykon, as a GM, what are you thinking of doing to bridge that five year gap? Um, well, there are a lot of things that are going down um, over those five years. And, and see, that's the thing is like, I think time skips, especially in Zealand as well, they need to be, you need to, the players need to be in a position where they have a relative sense of security where you know that you're going to be able to advance those five years potentially without anything like world shattering happening there are going to be some big things that happen over those five years though it's not just going to be smooth sailing for them the entire way they are still going to have things that they need to deal with over that time and that's going to kind of be how i'm dealing with experience over that time as well so yeah interview I, I should interview as the voice of Jonah well yeah Jonah might be the person who's doing the interviewing like who knows I, d I don't want to give too much away with like who's 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 alive at the end of uh, at the end of the season um, we don't have a set date for the season return just yet um, but at this stage I'd say we're probably looking at around about a month break if not a little bit more maybe we'll see we'll see David, welcome to the party. You're not late at all. We've only just started. We're only eight minutes into the town hall. Any update on Fallout 4? Yeah, so tech no. You're going to be getting the, essentially, part of the introduction, a teaser for the start of it in the next few days. And then if things go well with the recording of it throughout the week, you're going to get the first episode next weekend. Um, it's kind of why we don't have any other role plays this weekend as well, because I've been working on it. Um, getting the first episode of it up and running is it's always going to be a challenge there are so many mods that go into it so getting all of those working together and and also running a separate installation of fallout 4 so i can still do frost as well it's uh it's taken a little bit of working it's taken a little bit of work around to get that done but uh there we go um yeah so what i've done is I've kind of gone, what do you do for the first week? What do you do for the first month? What do you do for the first year? And then at that point, I'm doing year-long skips. Um, so it's to, it's to essentially try and get some kind of routine in their lives because they would have some kind of routine at that point. So, yeah. Yeah, so the, the interviews, the interviews will kind of show what's happened over the five years but the um live stream that we're going to do next saturday that is going to essentially tie up some of those loose ends because there are a lot of story threads that i threw out there that aren't going to get solved so i'm going to explain some of those to a degree as well so yeah um elin i don't know if i've answered this before but who's my favorite character in critical role campaign 2 um molly i'd say molly <laughs> Um, now I'd say Caduceus. Yeah. <laughs> um, Kyber Crystal. Yes, uh, it is Kyber. Kyber Crystal. This is, this is a Q&A. It's a Q&A slash just us hanging out. So, yeah. Jester is amazing as well. 100%. Yeah. Um, do I ever watch Adventure Time? I used to watch Adventure Time a lot, Axel. Um, I haven't watched it in 
quite a long time though unfortunately it's one of those things where i'm like i really want to go back and and watch it so yeah oh you've only just started season two well okay you're in for a good ride yeah kaiba with a sauce with a saucy yaiba <laughs> yaiba uh. um no plans for seeking sovereign guard yet that's something that might uh return there is a lot of interest in seeking sovereign guard i'm actually surprised um seeking was one of those things where i never really anticipated that many of you to be into it um i mean i really enjoyed doing it as well so who knows we might end up we might ha end up having it return the possibilities are most certainly there you're going to see them live in london well you need to catch up you need to catch up before then don't you <laughs> yeah <laughs> Oh, Axel. <laughs> um, Plato, do I have any ideas uh, for more Cataclysm role plays? Yeah, well, another one that I really want to do as well is an, an Arcana based one. So, to have a character that is much more um, involved in the occult and the arcane side of Cataclysm and, and the mods that kind of come with that as well. So, yeah. Kuro. You're a small-time roleplayer YouTuber looking to grow. Do I have any advice? Um, my advice would be keep on doing what you're doing because it's if, if you are building an audience and that's a great start. Um, yeah, just find, find the games, the stories that you find compelling that you want to tell and that will you know that will draw people to those things people who want to see who want to hear those stories they will find them youtube can be a strange thing people sometimes will go years before finding something even if they've been searching for it for a long time um so there isn't much we can do to change that but just stick at what you're doing keep telling the stories that you enjoy telling because that's the most important thing you need to be enjoying it as long as you're enjoying it as long as you're having fun with it you know then then it's a good thing it's all a good thing um can of pringles bring back your necromancer character from seeking sovereign guard but reborn in cataclysm menace yes menace that could be interesting hmm. um have i ever played any of the witches series um sacred dragon i haven't surprisingly enough i i haven't i know that's weird i've played actually no i lie i've played one and two for a little bit but i haven't been able to fully invest a whole heap of time into them they're amazing games i love them i think they're fantastic but um i yeah i haven't been able to fully invest a whole heap of time into it so yeah thank you king parkour i appreciate your kind words um Cyber Crystal or Cyber? You were saying it was Cyber? Cyber Crystal? Cyber Crystal. So it is Cyber, yeah. Um, Cyber Crystal, how many games have I played? Too many to count. Too many to count, I'm sure. Yeah. Um, Philip at Rikon Roleplays, who's the new guy? I don't I I don't know. Who is the new guy? <laughs> Um, Elin, have I played Detroit Become Human? Yes, I have. I actually played through, um, with Triton. I went around to Triton's place and we went through it over the space of two different nights and such a good game. I mean, I, I, I love Quantic Dream. I've always loved their games. I knew I was going to enjoy this and I did really, really enjoy it. I was a little upset because I made a decision early on that essentially took a character out of the game for the entire thing where I didn't realize that. I was just like, uh, okay. It's interesting. Um, so yeah, I was a little disappointed in that aspect of it, but overall, awesome game. I really, really enjoyed it. But I think it's one of those things with um, with the Quantic Dream games where you kind of reach the end of it and it feels like this was a, a prequel for something, that there is going to be something more afterwards um, and then and there never is, which I'm, I'm kind of okay with because that's something that I'm just used to. But uh, yeah, and plus all the memes that have come out of it are amazing. <laughs> Okay. Um, what major Comic Con would you like to eventually attend? Well, I mean, like, the Comic Con would be great. I, th the thing is, like, I don't know where all the cons are because I've never really had an opportunity to go to any of them. Um, so I, I, I don't know. Like, I mean, there's so many options now. Um, speaking of cons, though, I am actually going to be going to New Zealand's kind of only con, which is um, Armageddon. I'm going to be going to that at the end of October. 
and that should be a hell of a lot of fun. It was really, really good last year. The lineup isn't as as, as good this year in terms of the people that are attending, but it's still it's it's still good fun. I still enjoy it. Um, Philip, do I follow Liam O'Brien? I do. I do indeed. Um, let's see, I'm just trying to keep up with all of this. This is a little loud for my liking. There we go. Ah. They should have called it Armageddon. <laughs> they, they probably should have. They probably should have. There we go. Um, Nathan Lewis, what's my favorite fictional weapon? I gotta say it is um, Dragon Slayer, Guts's sword, and Berserk. Yeah. Nick Moore, favorite voice actor. That's tough. Um, that's really tough. Um, I don't know if I could pick a favorite there. I'd have to think about that for a long time. Um, David, any new role plays? Uh, any news about new role plays starting in the Elder Scrolls universe? Not currently. Not currently. Um, I do have other stories that I want to tell in there. Um, we're just building up some pretty crazy stuff with Leon, so it'll be taking up a fair bit of the Skyrim-based time. So, yeah. <laughs> That's true, Sacred Dragon, I do. <laughs> Weirdly enough, is Serana, yeah. Um... Axel, what's my opinion on the Telltale debacle? I'm I'm heartbroken. Um, I love Telltale. I've loved their games. Um, I'm so upset for The Wolf Among Us. Honestly, I mean, I think so many people have their different ideas about why it happened, why this happened to them. Um, I think one thing with Telltale, what used to frustrate me was that um, they started so many of these different franchises. And I got to think it can't be cheap to acquire those ips right and i don't know if it's based like if it's based upon like each game they produce they're having to repurchase the ip or the agreement to produce games for that ip i don't know how that works um in my mind if it is like a one-off then it would make sense to make more but if you were just making if you had to you know repurchase it or you know settle a new agreement every single time you're doing another game in that series it would be a little bit more difficult but um where am i going with this i think they spread themselves too thin um it's difficult for a fan base to get invested when you've got so many different um you know styles oh thank you very much nanania we'll see if uh if jenna is awake today uh and if she's gonna pop up um game of choice when relaxing yours is wow that's a good game to relax to it's a good game to relax to um i will get back to that i will just kind of continue my telltale rant <laughs> um it's it, it it just it sucks it sucks big time the way that it's happened, that so many things have been pulled out from under them. I, d I do feel, and, and yes, Kairos, I have played The Wolf Among Us. I love, I've read every single issue of Fables. Um, it's probably one of my favorite comic series of all time. Um, the artwork and the writing throughout is phenomenal. I freaking love it. But um, it's, uh, it's just, it's really, really disappointing. Um, yeah, I felt like you had, you had all of these different games that they were producing which was great you know variety is awesome and all but um yeah i just i feel like they set up so many things and they just weren't able to chase those i mean obviously they've got a limited team as well it's just it's it's one of those strange things where i'm like you've you've your engine is built you have all of the textures the models everything you need to to keep on creating games in that world yet you're gonna spend huge amounts of money to create a entirely new setting the music everything I don't know, like, I'm not sure. I'm not sure about that. Elin, thank you very much, miss. A Janet is never late, nor is she early. She arrives precis precisely when she means to. And it's probably going to be about half an hour from now she'll arrive and uh, <laughs> and start causing trouble. Very true. Very, very true. Oh, okay, Techno, thank you very much. You guys are going to be killing Janet today. She's got to wake up. I try and... Yeah, she's still asleep for now. Um, have I ever managed to find a mod for Fallout 4 that allows you to see your character's lower body? Um, I haven't yet. Look at this. And now she's appearing. 
and she appears with a completely wrong one. Janet, what are you doing? What are you doing? I don't understand her at all. Okay, I, 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 I honestly don't understand why it gets so glitchy as well. She's a, she's a strange breed. What are you doing, Janet? She's still making noises. Who knows? Who knows? Damn it, Janet. Damn it, Janet, indeed. Um, I haven't actually looked into that yet. That's something that I do need to look into. Is she, she going to keep on playing music? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Ah, uh, dear. Uh, but to answer an earlier question from Nanania, uh, what do I like to play when I'm relaxing? Have you managed to find a mod for Fallout 4 that allows you to see your character's lower body? And now here come the others. Okay, well, Jenna, I'm just gonna let you do your thing. <laughs> a Janet is never late, nor is she early. She arrives precisely when she means to. Yep. Oh, she's catching up now. She's catching up. She's catching up. Well, that's good. God damn it. Oh, Pringles, you're gonna break her now. <laughs> Game of choice when relaxing? Mine is wow. <laughs> um. Game of choice while relaxing. Um, it's tough. It's tough. Like, I used to play a lot of Overwatch um, when I was relaxing. Um, and then I found out that Overwatch doesn't actually make me relax. It just, like, heightens my blood pressure and makes me really aggressive. <laughs> and so I stopped playing it. Um, hmm. What do I like to play when I relax now? Kirsty, I'm doing good, thank you. I am doing good. I'm just trying to think about what game I like to play when I'm relaxing. Um, I'm trying to think what I've been going through lately. That's actually really hard for me to, to, to pick one, because quite often the games that I generally would play when I'm relaxing are ones that I record. Like, Cataclysm was definitely one of those games for me. Um... I used to spend a lot of time playing Cataclysm before I started recording it, where I just sit outside with my laptop. Like, it was like, it, th that was like my zen thing. As I'd go sit outside with my laptop, um, beautiful sunny day, and I would just play Cataclysm. And it was great. Like, it, it definitely is still one of those games for me that I like to play when I'm relaxing. And I know that doesn't make a lot of sense because Cataclysm can be super stressful sometimes, but I don't know, there's something about it, just like managing everything and um and the progression in it i just really enjoy that style throughout it and pringles i'm sorry she, it, it doesn't appear that she's here for whatever reason she's not appearing oh i've just noticed we're kind of still like cutting things off at the top so we'll just go ahead and there we go that should be better um yes oh look at that right on time right on time janet right on time there we go Janet is in major need of her money coffee. Yes. Yes, she is. Yes, she is. Um, I did see a question before. I'm drinking coffee. Uh, just uh, black with two sugars this morning. Yes, because uh, out of milk. But I've actually started to like black coffee a lot more. Yeah. Um, let's see. Philip, am I going to be playing the new Star Wars Jedi game? I haven't heard too much about it. Um, but I did hear about The Mandalorian, and that sounds like it's going to be a awesome series. Um, Sacred Dragon, do I play many strategy games? What's my favorite? I don't play too many strategy games. Um, <clears throat> I used to play a lot more of them. I haven't played any for quite a while. I used to really enjoy going back and playing Civ 4 quite a bit, um, especially with some of the more intensive mods. Um, but in terms of strategy games that I've played recently, I'm not sure. Barbarossa, what's up, Jake? Hello and welcome. Thank you for uh, popping along. Um, <laughs> one of the survivors one of our survivors uh kudo one more thing how do i prepare my voice for role plays um hmm i don't too much i probably should a lot more than i do um i try not to i try not to dr eat before i do otherwise it's it's bad unless i want to do some kind of voice that's kind of all screwy and flammy and weird um make sure you're hydrated definitely you don't want a dry throat otherwise unless you're trying to do a ghoul or something like that you want to sound like you're dying um yeah <laughs> um aaron north am i gonna play overkills the walking dead when it comes out yeah i mean like but i feel like it's been coming out for four years now um 
it's one of those games where I'm like, it's it's gonna come out eventually, right? Yeah, yeah, I'm sure, I'm sure. Um, Brandon, I've never played FTL. I, I I think I own it, but I've never really played it. I've started it up once or twice, I think, but yeah, yeah. Um, let's see, uh, Kirsty, what is your favorite pen and paper role playing game? Well, Zealand, of course, the one I created. <laughs> Uh, no, I, I, I'm very, very, very proud of Zealand, and um, I feel like, you know, that that's what was cool with making it in the first place, is that it enabled me to make the game that I that I wanted to play, so, yeah. I'll, I'll go with that for my answer. Um, it will be interesting to see where the player skills go after the jump. Um, am I hyped for Fallout 76? Yes, I most certainly am. I'm really hoping to be able to do a collaborative roleplay with gamer poets and a few other uh, roleplaying YouTubers. We'll see how that goes because collaborations are difficult and I've never done a proper collaboration before so just getting us to uh, work together will be interesting. Nanania, what have you got Janet to say? <laughs> uh, well, it would be interesting to see her uh, to rock this one out. Ah, oh dear. Um, Elin, have I seen any cool TV series slash movies recently? No. I don't think so. I don't think so, no. And Kirsty, no, I haven't tried Ten Candles, no. Venom. I haven't seen Venom yet. No, I'm 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 yet to see Venom. Oh, you finished watching Interstellar. Oh, that's great. Because so I was talking to Pringles the other day. Recommended Interstellar. Um, it's one of my favorite films. One of my favorite films. I do too. I want to hear Janet going, but for some reason she is having none of this. She's just like, nah, I'm done. I'm gonna go on my break. She 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 was here for like five minutes and she's gone away now. So yeah. Ah oh dear, ah oh dear. What can I say? Oh, dragged on for too long, Nick. I, I mean, the thing is, I'm, I'm a massive, massive space nut. Um, and without giving like too many spoilers away with Interstellar, like, um, there is towards the very, very start of it, there is this reveal where they kind of reveal like this, this rocket, and I get so emotional when it comes to space and I was just like I was gone at that point I was just like so worked up it just happens it, for some reason it's something that I've had since I've been a little kid where anything when it comes to space exploration or just the study and the understanding of the the greater world that's out there um gets me worked up big time it's, it's why I've got this on my arm Actually, speaking about arms, I, I am going to be making a, uh, a little side video talking about the two different um, arms that I've got and the symbols and the meanings behind them. So I'm planning to do that within the next few weeks. So that could be an interesting one because I know some of you have asked about my tattoos and what do they mean and why are they there? And yeah, James Barrett, thank you very much. I, I apologize, Janet's probably not going to be reading this out. So I'm going to read it out for you. She's probably going to read it out about 15 minutes from now and she's probably going to read it backwards. Oh no, here we go. She's back. I think you helped push things through the pipeline. Anjarom Janet Konsvinska. Thank you. Unfortunately, I don't know what it means, Nanania, but thank you. Thank you all the same. <laughs> um, James, I don't know if she's going to get round to you. Uh, discovered me last month. Been pouring over the content since. Huge fan. Love the RPs. Thank you, James. I seriously appreciate that. And I'm glad that they're all there for you to watch so that it can keep you uh, going for a while. Because I know... The role plays don't always come out super fast, so it's nice when there's a backlog, right? Yeah, I don't know how her pronunciation was. <laughs> I can't imagine it was super amazing. <laughs> two different arms. Yes, I have two different arms. Yeah, I know. Amazing, right? <laughs> oh, Nick, if, if Mercer got his hands on it, that would be amazing to see what someone with that kind of... Um, just understanding of storytelling could could do with it like i'd be yeah yeah that would be awesome i mean like that's why that's why i enjoy hearing people's stories from it as well just because the way that i see zealand um and all the different sessions that people are playing i see them as existing in the same world so because zealand is played in the real world you know you could be playing your game at home 
in you know in India in the States in South Africa in Japan anywhere I feel like all of those things are happening simultaneously so it's like we're all playing a MMO of sorts but a tabletop role-playing game so it's really cool when people share their stories because I feel like they're all happening at the same time really enjoy it really enjoy it um Edo Art um Am I going to go back to Project Zomboids? Probably not, and not for a while. I mean, like, what I said when I first stopped was that I was holding out for NPCs to return. It's been a long, long time. It's been years now. Um, I don't know if they are going to be appearing and if what kind of form they're going to be appearing in. I, I'm not sure. I don't think I will be. Um, never say never, but um, it's it's certainly a unlikely event right now. I'll be looking forward to seeing your videos, Kuro. I'm gonna go and check them out after this, and uh, it's just awesome. It's 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 always um, it makes me super happy to see the the role playing community on YouTube grow and expand, and and more people join it. And yeah, it always gives me the warm fuzzies. <laughs> yeah, I feel like we do need to have. I feel like we need to have like a Swedish and a Finnish. Uh, section of the legion for sure definitely sup janet i'll let her do her thing <laughs> discovered you last month been pouring over your content ever since huge fan love the rps go you hear go janet's janet's a fan janet's a fan wouldn't have known it wouldn't have known it from the way that she treats us but apparently she is a fan so there we go thank you janet appreciate it <laughs> um kirsty have i ever visited the uk no i haven't i really do want to though because um all my family history is the uk i'm i'm a first uh generation new zealander so um <clears throat> My mum is uh, born in Scotland. Her family originates from Ireland, and my father is from Liverpool. And his family have been, well, they're the first to move outside of the UK as well. So, I mean, yeah, all my all my family, all my history is back there. So, I it's something that I've wanted to do for the longest time. But it's uh, it's 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 a big trip. It's a big trip in itself, and so it's something that I will be doing, but uh, probably not for a wee while still. Um, am I doing a Star Wars RimWorld Tale continued series? Uh, no, I'm not going to be going back to RimWorld for a little bit. I know I said I was going to jump in and do a short series, but I think we're just going to be holding off for a little bit longer. We will be returning when 1.0 is out, which shouldn't be too much further away. I mean, like, I'm thinking maybe a month tops, but who knows? Who knows? Yeah. Uh, Elin, yeah, you totally can. Yeah, for, for XCOM, send it in Swedish, and I will go ahead and put the uh, translation along with it. I'm trying to think if I'd be able to do that, because I guess it'll be difficult not knowing, not understanding. We'll be able to work it out. I'm sure we'll be able to work it out. Casper Hansen. Here we go. Janet will get round to you eventually. <laughs> A Scandinavian corner. Yes, we definitely need a Scandinavian branch of the Legion. 100%. 100 percent Um, Coladad, have I ever heard of a little thing called Attack on Titan? I have, but I haven't watched it yet. I know, which is disgusting. I need to get round to that. 100 percent Something that I'll be doing eventually. I just need to get a Crunchyroll subscription and I'll get onto it. And we will see. We will see. Actually, Elon, yeah, timestamps would be the way to do it. That would be the way to do it. Um, Edo, the, well, I'll, I'll, I'll let Janet do her thing. Yeah, how's she gonna do the emoji? At the very least, a Scandinavian corner, Dane Swedes, playful face. Playful face? <laughs> Janet's getting faster. She's becoming more intelligent. Sentient, even. Who knows? Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Playful face. I love that. <laughs> oh dear. Um, am I a fan of Avatar The Last Airbender? Yes, I am. I Again, another thing that I haven't watched the whole way through. It's something that I need to do. Um, and the live action series of that's coming out as well, which that should be pretty interesting, especially with the original folks involved. You'd hope it would be good. 
Um, any thoughts on a Dishonored roleplay? Yeah, well, I've, I've talked about Dishonored for a long, long time, and that's that's one that I've been wanting to add in. I have gone for the Fallout 4 roleplay first, but um, the Dishonored one is literally always in the back of my mind. Like, every week I'm like, I really want to start this now, but at the same time, I don't want to get too many things going so that we start missing out on lots of stuff. Um, Ido, yeah, the Fallout 4 roleplay, we we're going to be getting a teaser on Monday, on Monday, should be Monday, because um, I'm working on that throughout the rest of today, and the proper one should be coming out next weekend, if all things go well. The recording the first episode is always interesting, to say the least, so we'll see how that goes. Elin, there we go. Let's see, I, I reckon she's going to get the winky face on this one. <laughs> but this is from Janet, though. Thank you. Thank you, Elin. Oh dear. Axel, we are late. You, you are, you're indeed correct. We need to announce the low term. We'll just give, we'll give Janet a section, a second here, so that you know she doesn't jump in halfway through it. So <laughs> we'll jump through to it in a moment. Ah oh dear. Well, sacred dragon, that that is true. Uh, I imagine that's not going to last forever. Um, Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead, Bran, why no face cam? Uh, purely just because, like, I know it, it's a contentious issue, because I know some people think that it can take away from the game. Um, I don't know. It's a tough one. I mean, I, I can go either way on it. I could go either way on it, so, yeah. I'm, uh... I'm not... I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I could go either way, like I said. Uh, I don't know if Janet's going to be waking up, but I know the second that I start trying to announce the Lotum... See, there we go. <laughs> there we go. I baited her. I baited her. <clears throat> oh, dear. All right, Janet, what you got? Hello, Riken from Janet. Winking face. Winking face back at you, Janet. I like how I was Riken. Riken? 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 At least it wasn't Raccoon or Raccoon. Ah, oh dear. Um, hey, Rykon, how long does it take to make a video plus editing? Uh, a year. It sometimes can feel like it takes a year. Uh, it can take a good few days. Uh, it can take a while. It can take a while. Especially if it's a long episode, if there's a lot of cinematics and stuff like that. It can take a fair bit to put together. Um, also, purely just because dealing with games like Skyrim and Fallout 3, there are a lot of crashes and a lot of bugs that they have to try and edit around. So, it's, uh, it's difficult. Um, all right, let's do this thing. It's time to announce the Legionnaire of the Month. For those of you who do not know what the Legionnaire of the Month is, it is a Legionnaire that has gone above and beyond in some form of fashion. Our Legionnaire of the Month last month was Parapa Louis Fox. Louis, thank you so much for your service. And now, wait for it, wait for it. If everything goes according to plan, is that a drum roll? Can you hear a drum roll? Have I actually got a drum roll this time? I hope it's working. It is? Yes! Okay. It's a very lo it's, it's It's a ridiculously long drum roll. <laughs> yeah, after all these months. Ten years. Two minutes later. The Legionnaire of the month this month is... Bloodmime. Congratulations, Bloodmime. You are the Legionnaire of the Month. That was a ridiculously long drum roll. My gosh. My gosh. And the reason Bloodmime is our Legionnaire of the Month this month is I received a very special thing in this month's Mojave Express. And it kind of would be a little bit of a spoiler if I showed it to you here and now. So please do head along to the Mojave Express once it is released, which is going to be a little bit later. It's going to be approximately two hours from now, once I've finished editing it. But uh, it was something really, really cool. And 
just a really, really nice, a really, really nice thing to do. And so I'm very, very appreciative of that. So thank you very much, Blood Mime. You're a deserving Lotum and the best drum roll ever, apparently, according to Brandon. So yeah, that is a 52 second long drum roll. <sighs> I probably could have skipped to the end, but you know what? You know what? It's okay. It's okay. We'll take it. Um, Axel. What have you done? <laughs> what have you done? Um, okay, all right. Well, Janet, we've learned some new things about Janet today, haven't we? We really did. You may have scared her off. We'll see. We'll see. Oh, dear. Okay, well, there we go. Oh, apparently, I have got a whacking great big headache this morning. So I apologize if I am a little off but it's just started slamming me in the side of the head. I think it's all this bright lights and coffee that are doing it, but, um, it, and extremely extended long drum rolls as well. But uh, thank you to Sound Effects Factory on YouTube for that fantastic piece of uh, drum roll action. <laughs> we finally got a drum roll after, what is this that like the, this is, this is, this is 20, is this the 17th? How, what, what number of town hall is this now? It's up there, right? It's up there. We're definitely up there. Let's see what I said in the description and see if it's actually correct because usually it isn't. Oh dear. Um, 27th. 27th. 20 bloody 7th. That is something else. That is something else. That is something else. There we go. Wow. 28th. Did I put 20... I put 28th up the top, but I've put 27th in the description. What am I doing? What am I doing? I've only been doing this for approximately 27, 28 times, so you'd think I'd have it down by now, but apparently not. God damn it. Um, it is it is for September as well. Uh, the way the town hall works is that it's talking about the previous month, so that's why we are September. Yeah. Ah oh dear. Ah oh dear. And, and apparently, any moment now, Janet's gonna jump out and, you know, uh, share with us her dark secrets. So, yeah, there we go. Oh, dear. Uh, Louis, I have explained a few times throughout today that you are going to be getting the first taste of that on Monday. Don't you worry. Don't you worry. Um, Mist Gaming. Do you have to train your voice to talk like your roleplay characters? Um, not so much train. It takes a little while to get them, like, right? Because it's easy to slip into other voices sometimes. Um, so I think it's always really, really good to have an image of who your character is in your mind when you're doing a voice, so that you can always go back to that. And you kind of have to have almost like grounding words, like words that you say that make you, um, understand that character. Alright, Janet. What do you got? My name is Janet. I'm a huge furry. Just like Riken and Leon. Yiff 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 glomps you. <laughs> Thank you, Axel. Thank you very much. Oh, dear. Well, there we go. Now you know Janet's secret, my secret, and apparently Leon's deep, 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 dark secret. Ah, oh, dear. Oh, thank you very much, Nanania. <laughs> <laughs> um, we'll have to we'll have to have a roll. Yeah, we'll have a look. We'll have a look if we can make some uh, make some Nordic rolls in the Discord for sure. That'll be something that we look into. <laughs> I'll talk to Duck and I'll talk to Triton, and we'll see if we can uh, we'll see if we can sort that out. <laughs> Krug, Krug, what's up, my man? Hello, welcome to my town hall. It's good to see you here, dude. It's good to see you here. If the, if, if you're in the chat and you don't know who who. Uh, Krug Smash is. Krug is an incredible uh, Dwarf Fortress role player YouTuber. I say role player because I guess you are kind of role playing your storytelling with it. And uh, honestly, if you haven't seen it yet, I highly, highly, highly recommend it. And I am highly anticipating your Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead series as well. So you can school me on how to tell stories with with, uh, with Cataclysm. I'm I'm excited to see what you do with it. I really, really am. Um, so if you haven't, if you haven't seen Krug Smash, 100% go check the guy out. He makes some amazing, amazing content on YouTube. Very, very cool. Um, what made me Edo? So what made me RP? Um, I mean, it's a long story. It's a story that I've kind of told a few times before. 
a lot of it comes back to um, Inferno Canuck, who was, in my mind, one of the first role-playing YouTubers uh, who kind of inspired a whole generation, a whole, like, you know, all these other channels that spun off and started creating stories like he was creating. Um, yeah, so that's what that's what started it. Pringles. Thanks, Pringles. Thanks. I'm sure Janet will get around to that eventually. She's got to get through Nananias as well. Um, <laughs> <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. This is this is what we're doing today. <laughs> Playing with Janet. It's what we do. It's what we do. Oh dear. Um, what's my favorite piece of fan art slash poetry slash stories? I mean there's a lot of different categories there. Um and it's and it's very, very difficult to pick a favorite. Um because each each person catches, you know, characters in a different light and shows a different side of them that even I haven't seen and that's what I really enjoy about fan art because it um it it brings to life scenes in in a different from a different viewpoint through someone else's lens and that's what I really I really really enjoy about it because you know you see things that you just didn't anticipate before or you know apparently we're going straight to Pringles <laughs> hey Janet how's it going hello there nuzzles like sir pa want to snuggle snuggle Greater not, than W less than. Not right now, Janet. Not right now. <laughs> Later. Ah <laughs> oh dear. Will oh you dear. make a branch for us, Nords, in Discord? Blackheart. Yes, we definitely will. Blackheart. Oh, oh dear. Pringles, you most certainly are. You most certainly are. Oh dear. Oh dear, dear, dear. What can I say? <laughs> Ah, uh, what can I say? What can I say? <laughs> ah, my gosh, my gosh. Okay, well, guys and gals, we're getting close towards the end of the town hall. We've got about 13 minutes left, so if you have any questions that you want to throw out before the end of it, please do. I am still awake, I am still aware at the moment, so I've got a little bit of life left in me yet. Yeah, Krug, you came at a great time. You came at a fantastic time. <laughs> Uh, my AI partner has revealed some very interesting things about herself today. Yeah. <laughs> ah, can I say something in Swedish? I, I can't say anything in Swedish. What's interesting, though, is that I do have a character that I play in D&D that um, uh, she speaks all of her spells in Icelandic. Because um, it's kind of like a modern setting set in the real world. And she's from Iceland already, uh, originally immigrated to the States, uh, and all of her spells are done in Icelandic, so I have to do a lot of translation work for that, so that's quite interesting. Um, but no, I can't do any Swedish. Um, thank you, John. I hope mine does too. I just need to take some Panadol and probably eat something, because I haven't uh, had any breakfast today. Yes, yes. A narrative roleplay of Stellaris? Rogel, no, I haven't. Um, most of the narrative roleplays that I've seen, or let's plays that I've seen, have been from uh, officially Devon. Uh, our new Lotum this month, Melissa, is Bloodmime, who's uh, Darth Vader at, at the moment. He's Darth Vader. The one and only. Thank you very much, Panda Milk. Pan, Pandy, Pandy, sorry, Panda, Panda Mick. I just called you Panda Milk, I'm sorry. <laughs> Ah, oh dear. Uh, what can I say? Have I ever thought about doing a roleplay of Far Cry 5? I, I've kind of wanted to do like a roleplay through a number of different uh, Far Cries before, but it's something that I've just never really had the time to get down to yet. My favorite class to play in D&D at the moment is, uh, is Warlock. I've just started playing a new Warlock, and I'm really, really enjoying it. Um, difficult to have a favorite class, but um, that's my favorite at the moment. Yeah. Uh, the next season of Zealand isn't going to be coming out for, like, another month, potentially. We're, we're having a little bit of a break between this one, so yeah. I'm glad you're looking forward to the next episode of Frost. It only gets crazier from here. Like, the last episode was wild. Yeah. I don't think Frost is good for my health, I gotta say. <laughs> Certainly doesn't seem that way sometimes. Oh, dear. But, uh, no, you're just in time, Snake Doctor. You are just in time. Uh, 
Uh, if we're Legionnaires, what does that make Rikon? I am the Imperator of this Legion. I'm not just an Emperor. Emperors, they just, they, they sit around, they don't do anything. The Imperator, we, we, I get a little bit more involved, you know? Yeah. When is the Roblox RP? Oh, it's got to happen eventually. Surely, surely. Thoughts on wild magic, as in like the wild magic sorcerer in D&D? Is that what you're asking, Nick? Perhaps? Um, Frost, yes. Somewhere down the track. Somewhere down the track. I have everything there. It's just, uh, finishing it is... It's been a task. Yeah. Uh, that is going to be separate from the Fallout 4 roleplay. Uh, separate, but contained. It's part of it, in a sense. There, there's a reason I've left it where I did, uh, without revealing too much at this stage. There's a reason why it's uh, where it's at. Ido, thank you very much. Thank you very much. I'm glad you enjoyed Zealand this week as well. It was a intense end to the chapter. More so than I thought. Yeah. The, yeah, the Discord is a cult. It is a cult. I won't deny it. It's a cult, but it's a great cult. It's a fantastic cult. The best cult. Uh, will I play the new Pathfinder PC game? I didn't know there was going to be a Pathfinder game for PC. I actually didn't know that. There we go. I did not know. Oh, Nick, you were talking about um, Wild Magic. Oh, nice. Nice. Yeah, I've got a Wild Magic Sorcerer in my party that I'm in at the moment, in a Strahd game, and uh, he he's had some interesting surges, to say the least. Yeah. Oh, Elin, thank you very much. Let's hope that Jenna gets around to it. She's got around to Snake Doctors. <laughs> Again, I'm not sure. I'm not sure what it is. Hi, Rigan. Sorry I'm late to the town hall. Looking forward to the next episode of Frost. I didn't know that Janet was a fan of Frost, but she is as well. So there we go. Wouldn't you know it? Wouldn't you know it? <laughs> Janet's been good today. She's been behaving. She's been good. That's good. <laughs> oh, dear. I, I hope that she gets around to reading your message before we wrap things up, Elin. We've got eight minutes remaining, so I'm sure she will. Have I ever thought about doing a Divinity Sin, Original Sin RP? Um... I'm not so sure, um, just, I, yeah, I don't know, I wouldn't say it's impossible, but, yeah. I do, I do think it's a fantastic game, I've actually played a little bit of it, um, only a little bit of it, but I think it is a really, really cool game. It's one of those games where I think if I had more free time, I'd play a lot of it, but just haven't got around to it yet. Uh, Snake Doctor, love that you went through the access tunnels and frost this time. There's so much lore down there that it deserves to be showcased. Yeah, and that's the thing is like, I'm going to be going back down to those tunnels. There is still more for us to explore. I mean, we hit a bit of a dead end. Um, well, not a dead end so much as we had to come back because Akira was going to drop dead any second. So, yeah, we had to go We had to go back and we went in a different direction. But now that I think she's better supplied, I think we will be returning to where she was before. Um, I'm just going to have to run up a tower to go grab a uh, radiation suit back because, yeah, she's... Uh, <laughs> She's been missing out on that thing for a while. <clears throat> Blair, I am super excited for Cyberpunk. I think it's going to be freaking amazing. Nanania, thank you again. You have, you've all been awesome today. And uh, and Janet, I think Janet's very happy as well. I think she's already clocked off for the day. We'll see if she comes back before the end, but uh, she might already be out. When's the next brand episode coming out? Let me have a quick look here. One moment. Uh, it should be coming out this evening. Uh, let's see. Yes, it will come out this evening. It was actually kind of meant to come out last evening, but uh, scheduling didn't have it go up. So, yeah. Um, and yes, there is going to be a new Frost episode tomorrow. Yes, indeedy. It shall be reaching out towards all of you. Um, plan on any watching any new Halloween movies? No, I don't have anything like any uh, spooky Halloween movie plans so far, so we'll see. Um, oh, here she is. Hello, Janet. 
Long live the Legion, long live the Nords of Rigen. Yes, indeed. Thank you, Snake Doctor, as well. Janice, she's catching up. <laughs> Love that you went through the access tunnels in Frost this time, mate. So much lore down there than deserve to be showcased. Thanks for that. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Jack Petter Jan and Hawk Jag Tiger at Riken Air Best. I wonder how her pronunciation was. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I imagine it must have been off a little bit, yeah. Um, Kirsty, I will definitely have to do something like that for, for Halloween. If you haven't yet had a look at the Outlast roleplays that I've done on the channel, I highly recommend that you check it out. It is spooky, as spooky can get, and they're probably some of my favorite roleplays I've done. If you head to the main uh, channel page, yeah, I know she keeps saying right gone. It's, it, it's, it's, she's got a weird pronunciation with it. But yeah, if you head to the main channel page, Actually, if you just head to RikonRoleplays.com right now, it'll take you to the channel page. And there is a little playlist that says Completed Roleplays. On there, you'll find each of the Outlast roleplays that I've done. So we've got uh, the original Outlast, we've got Whistleblower, and we've got Outlast 2. Uh, and they are all unique in their own sense, and uh, they're, uh, they're really, really good fun. I had so much fun making those series because I was legitimately scared throughout it, so it kind of worked really well. <laughs> Um, Blair, which character do I think I was the most surprised at the way they progressed? I mean, I, I think in a sense, I mean, they both have in, in their own way, like both Leon and Logan have surprised me. Just based on like where Logan started, like Logan, when he first came out of that vault, he was incredibly timid he was incredibly afraid and a lot of that's changed because of the world around him but not just that you know he's had other things happen to him that have changed him dramatically and it's the same thing for leon um there have been multiple times where he has you know walked away from this path that was laid out in front of him um and yet he's been brought back to it like time and time again and he's um yeah, I mean, he's been through a lot. He's lost a lot along the way. And I think he's... I think he's... At a point now where he... Is trying to master his own destiny. He's trying to control the direction, the path that he's taking. And not be... Um, persuaded or forced down something... Without giving too much away as well, because I'm just going back to Logan. There, there are some interesting changes coming for him as well. Just based upon the situation, the scenario that he's in at the moment, he's going to start having some realizations that I think will pretty dramatically change the direction, his path that he's in at the moment. So, yeah. Janet, what do you got to say? Sorry if comment in the last Frost video was a tad harsh. I'm just so caught up in Akira's story. You think it's bad for your health. LOL. <laughs> Uh, no, the, the, all the advice and everything that I achieve throughout um, uh, a Fruit Frost is, uh, it's, they, they do help. They do help. They're good. They are good. <laughs> Thank you both Snake Doctor and Elin. We'll see if, uh, we'll see if she's able to get in there with the, with the last one. Oh dear. <laughs> Yeah, I, I mean, Aaron, uh, Dusk has gone to some interesting places. And this thing is, we're not finished with Dusk as well. She's just on hiatus. She's in hibernation at the moment. When we return for Dusk, things are going to be a little bit different there as well. Because I've had to change some things. Because I did have some issues uh, in the episode that I was recording for it. Um, so when we return, there will be some interesting things happening. Um, Viking Lord, what happened to my beard? It's kind of, uh, it's, it's evolved or rather devolved maybe. Um, it did, it did disappear. It did disappear. Um, as did my long hair. Um, it's all, it's all gone now. It's all gone for better or for worse. I'm not so sure yet, but, uh, I don't find as many hairs around the place now. So that's good. <laughs> oh dear. Um, I am going to be doing some things with Dust. I've kind of planned since the start of a particular character's journey that I would be doing something in Dust eventually, so, yeah. Yeah. 
Well, guys and girls, we are at the end of the town hall. Thank you to everyone who has been able to make it along today. It's been a hell of a lot of fun hanging out with you. I apologize if I haven't been entirely myself. I am kind of battling this headache at the moment. Excuses, I know. But it's been cool hanging out all the same and discussing things and having fun with Janet. <laughs> She's been enjoying herself. I'm sure she'll try and jump in with one last word, but... Um, <sighs> Yeah, needless to say, I've had a good time. I've really enjoyed it. It's been awesome to see all of you again. Uh, don't forget, the Mojave Express is going to be coming out very, very soon. I'm going to be working on this. And for patrons, we are going to be having our after town hall chat now as well. So please do come along to that. And here she is, Janet. She's stealing the show, as always. Last it's... one now. You are all awesome, the Legion. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, Elon. And, and, and uh, Elon and Janet are right. As a legion, you are awesome. As you are, as you are. And well, yeah, please do, please do check out the Mojave Express. Uh, it's a good one. There is a lot of really, really amazing art in there. And again, thank you to all of the incredible patrons that make this channel possible. Without your support, without you believing in this and in the legion. Uh, I couldn't I couldn't keep on doing it as much as I am so I am in your debt thank you I've been Rikon you have all been awesome and until next time stay tuned mm -hmm.